All right, hey boys and girls. Hey guys. Good evening. David here with Kelson. Kelson, yes. Kelson the English man. Right. right? <laughs> I don't think so. Man. So in this video, we're going to talk only English. I asked Kelson to tell you a little bit about his experience studying English, share some tips with you, and tell you what he's doing currently to practice and improve his English. Because you guys know that as you study, you, you go through different levels of fluency and you face different challenges. Yes. Right? So I've been talking to Kelsey a little bit. He was telling me how he's been studying English, what he's been doing. And I just wanted to give you guys the opportunity to hear him tell you in his own words. So go ahead, Kelsey. What a pleasure. <laughs> just Introduce joking. yourself. Okay. Tell them who you are. Okay, I'm Kelson and I am an aspiring English learner and I I'm just studying English because I intend to travel abroad someday. And uh, English is the most important language in the world, I would say that. And uh, that's why I, I love English. I got involved with the language and I intend to get better more and more and to achieve the fluence. Yeah. Uh, Kelson is currently um, participating in a project. Don't so point it may, out, man. <laughs> we can't just tell anybody. Kidding, but maybe soon by the end of the month, Hopefully, yeah, I've got whaling. It's like a competition everything. thing. Yeah, everything so we end up. If he <laughs> passes, he's already going to hit the road, right? Right, of course. Good. So, Kelson, tell them a little bit about your English learning experience. How was it for you? Okay, uh, there was some day when I I talked with my teacher and I asked him, uh, hey, Maori, my, he's my teacher, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, what I need to do to, uh, to be fluent in English, to get fluent faster. And he said to me, man, don't, uh, how can I say, you have to keep in touch with the language. So you have to get involved, involved, you know. So that's, uh, from that time on, I cracked, you know, I realized that I had to improve it. And then I started to watch movies, series in English, even though I didn't understand a word, I tried to read the subtitles and try to... This was in the very beginning, yeah, when you first very started beginning. studying. Yeah, the t I already had some words, you know, mm -hmm. I was learning, but it was like the time when I really wanted to go on to face like, hey, English up, uphill battles, but I can't <laughs> go... Up, up I can't way. overcome it, yeah, I can't overcome it, and then I started to read books, to try to read books, and I tried to, for example, look for some radios, radio stations, can I say this? Radio stations? Radio something. stations, and try to listen, and to, it was really hard because I didn't understand, they were speaking very fast, and I remember one time when I was like laying around on my bed, and I was like listening to the radio station, and I was like, hey man, I will never be fluent in English. <laughs> But I was joking, you know, but it was like, listen, and I was understanding some words. So I was just keeping on studying, studying every day. And then I, today I can say that I can understand the contest, the, you know, I can understand well English. And uh, that's it. You can, you have to read books. You have to watch movies in English. You have to try to talk with yourself. Sometimes you don't have a partner. You don't have some, someone to talk with who you can practice your English so just try to say like for example things in your daily routine your regular basis I, I, I guess for example I now I'm going to the bathroom and I'm seeing the water dripping dripping from the sink and did I'm, your mother ever think yeah, you were going crazy it was like I'm approaching from the table and then I can see the edge of the table this kind of things man try to be crazy and as you said, like my mother, for example, I sometimes I ask her, for example, mom, say something and I'm going to translate. So she says a lot of things, random things, sometimes it doesn't make any sense, but I try to translate and I really, how can I say, run into many words and expressions that I can't understand. I don't know how to translate, but then I will look for the translation or look for the, the meaning of the words and try to develop my English. Mm -hmm. That's Here's a good tip because a lot of times when you try to do that, you realize what yes. words you don't know yet. And so then you could go and look it up and find out. So you find where the blanks are yeah. in your language speaking so you can learn the vocabulary you need. Great, great yeah. tip. 
Um, Kelson, so in the beginning, you did a lot of this stuff. What kind of tips would you give people who are starting off today? Well, today it's like... In hindsight, what's your number one Kelson okay. secret? <laughs> you have, man, you have to, 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 how can I say, to be involved with English. You have to like to study English. For example, I know some guys who are like this. Hey, I prefer Spanish rather than English. You no, know, mm -hmm. it is, it's normal. But when you, how can I say, when you love the language, so you're never, never seeing the, the challenge, the obstacles. The <laughs> obstacles. The obstacles, and you're, uh, how can I say, always ready to face everything. So it's a good tip, you have to, to be passionate. Mm -hmm. Something like that, you know. Yeah. So, Calzon was telling me there were two things that I thought were interesting was that using the, the platform, right, the online yeah. platform, initially he, he did a lot of focused on courses because it gave you a goal, yeah, a goal. you know, yeah. kind of a direction. And you participated in the conversation classes when you were inspired. Today, Kelson's so smart, he knows it all. Yeah. Master of the phrasal <laughs> words, not joking. Yeah. But his level of English is really good, so you don't have Thanks. to study as much. It's more just a matter of practicing, yeah, right? So now, as you, you develop and you get more advanced, your contact with the language is more personally involved with people, right? Yeah, yeah. Today? So how do you, what kind of contact do you have with other English oh, speakers? You oh, I got it, I got it. You talk, you talk it. with people. Uh, can I tell all the contests? Sure. You know? Mm -hmm. Uh, there was a time when I was like, hey, I, for example, always I like it to study English, but I was not, how can I say, inspired to study English. So I asked the teacher, teacher, do you have some app for me to study English? So he recommended me Duolingo, okay? So when I realized that there were many languages in Duolingo, on Duolingo, and I saw that there were like French and Germany, I was like, hey, let me give it a, a try, you know? So I started to to learn basic phrases uh, in French on Duolingo, like je ne peux pas rouge. <laughs> it's funny. So it was like, hey, let me see some videos on YouTube. And that then there was a guy who recommended me a social media called interpals.net. If you can, you can write down, okay. you know, interpals.net. And then I I access 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 the the, the link. And I realized that there are many nice people there exchanging their knowledge about the ling many languages. And I was like, hey, I want to learn French. But then first I have to understand English to learn French through English. So it was the time when I cracked and I decided to really polish uh, my English. And from that time on, I was like, I need to get fluent faster. So I really wanted to be fluent in English. Yeah. And I still want to. What's interesting is because know? the more you learn and yes. realize that you can communicate, yes. the more you want to learn. People. You know? yes. So it's like one thing leads to yeah. another. It's you see fun. that you can, for example, with English, you can visit many countries in the world. Everyone speaks English pretty much. You know, the teenagers nowadays, mm -hmm. they can speak English, for example, in other countries. And it's good. All right. Great. Kelson, great tips. Um, just to wrap up the video here, what would you tell people who want to study at Shock English? A shock who are come thinking here. About it? Yeah, we have a native English speaker here, so ahead of the, the school, so he's really nice. The, the, uh, the school is really nice, so we can focus on conversations. It's a great thing because in some places people just uh, teach in Portuguese mm -hmm. and they have some activities, and it's good. But I am always like this. A baby, for example, he listen and he learn how to speak, and it's the most important thing. So at school, we learn the grammar thing, all these things like that. But first, I think the most important thing is to, is to be able to speak. So uh, we can find it here in Shock English, and that's it. All right, there you go. Good tips from Kelson, telling you a little bit about his English learning experience and story. If you guys have questions, leave a comment later. We'll keep in okay. touch and I'll ask Kelson, hey Kelson, somebody said you know wanted to know about this. <laughs> <It's better so laughs> we can keep in touch or do another interview later for y'all. So y'all have a great night. Nice chatting with you and bye bye. Keep it real. Peace out. Keep it real. <laughs>